And today, the week's long parliamentary audit of government agencies draws to a close, with the main opposition party deciding to return to the audit session, calling off its boycott on Monday. It looks like the final day will be a full house. Our Kim Minji has more from the National Assembly. The National Assembly's audit of state agencies got back to normal on Monday, with the main opposition Liberty Korea party calling an end to its boycott. The party had stopped participating in parliamentary activities last week in protest against the appointment of pro-government figures to the foundation of broadcast culture, the largest shareholder of public broadcaster NBC. It accused the government of trying to take control of the broadcaster as the foundation has the right to hire and fire NBC's president. But the suspension of the boycott was seen as almost inevitable, with several key events coming up at the National Assembly, including President Moon Jae-in's policy speech on Wednesday, U.S. President Donald Trump's address next week, plus the audit period nearing an end. With that, 12 parliamentary committees carried on with their inspections now in their final stages, covering a wide range of issues, including the administration's economic and welfare policies, preparations for upcoming summit talks between Presidents Moon and Trump, and irregularities under the previous conservative government. On North Korea, the deployment of the THAAD missile defense system topped the agenda. The government is not considering the deployment of more THAAD units. Let me be clear on that. Seoul has installed the U.S. missile defense system, which includes six missile launchers in the southeastern county of Songju. Seoul's Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa said there is no change in the government's willingness to participate in the U.S.-led missile defense networks, stressing that the THAAD battery was deployed solely as a defensive measure against North Korea's provocations. The deployment came despite strong protests from China, which claims the move hurts its security interests and imposed unofficial economic sanctions on Korea in response. Minister Kang, however, said it's not a matter to apologize for. Following her remarks, Beijing's foreign ministry reaffirmed its opposition to THAAD, adding that it has noted Korea's stance and hopes the government will keep its word. However, contrary to its previous hardline response calling for the removal of the THAAD battery, it said that it hopes Seoul takes care of relevant issues so that bilateral ties can be improved. There have been growing hopes that the ties between the two neighbors will take a turn for the better, following recent developments such as a renewed currency swap deal and China's resumption of group tours to Korea. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.